how's it going, P-Pixel Pals? This is Panic Pixel, home of my gaming geek and tech ramblings. You can call me Christine. Today we are unboxing the April Umai Crate. Now, in case you don't know what Umai Crate is, Umai Crate is a monthly mystery box from Japan Crate, which also happens to do a bunch of other Japanese-themed monthly subscription boxes. Umai Crate is their instant noodles one. So every month you get a random selection of instant noodles in your little box over here. This is priced at 25 US dollars, which I honestly don't think is that expensive considering how much I have to pay for instant noodles here in Hong Kong. This is my first ever box from them, so I'm pretty excited about this because I do love instant noodles. I actually have a hobby of trying out new instant noodle flavors, so I'm pretty excited to see what's inside this. So right here at the front, you also have my address, by the way. I have a P.O. box, so if you want to send me stuff, address right here. We shall get into this. Let us open it up. I'll show you guys first what's inside the box before I get into it. This is what it looks like once you open it up. And there's also a print here. It's expensive doing this crap. Right here at the top, you have a little booklet here, pretty well printed booklet, which will tell you what is inside the box. Okay, so uh, I'll just take this out first. I guess this is their free gift for this month or like because I'm a new subscriber or something. It's like a little man that sits down. For more information on this month's bonus item, check out blog.japancrate.com. So basically you put him on your cup noodles while you're waiting for it to cook. Oh my god, that's actually... That... Ah. <laughs> Whoa! I am actually really happy about this. I've always had trouble closing the lid on like my instant noodles, so this is actually really useful. Oh, that is a very questionable pose, but yeah, oh my god. This... Oh god, can I, I just want to love this forever? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, my crate, for that. All right, let's start with this big one over here. It says Veggie Cop, and it literally says Veggie Cop in Japanese right here. I haven't seen this around in Hong Kong, so this makes me happy. Next thing in the box is it has it has this bear character on it. This is a very popular bear character. I see this around a lot in like Japanese merchandise and also around Japan. I don't know if he's like a national mascot or something. Itsuki Kumawon Tororo Kombu Kelp Noodle. Oh, it says kelp udon. Why did I read it as noodle? This particular bowl has a savory bonito stock. Oh, bonito stock. That fishy taste. All right, third one. Kitsune Soba. Okay, so Kitsune is my number one go-to when it comes to noodles. Whenever I go to the udon restaurant near my office, I always order Kitsune udon. It boasts 40% lower sodium, which is what makes it great for adults. What if adults want more sodium though? Oh, it actually says adults. It says adult mini noodle, noodle pack or something here. That's crazy. So these three packs over here, they, they seem to be of the same size. So it seems like they have a lot of vegetable-ish or non-meaty kinds of noodles this time. Vegetarian no tame no ramen. So it's vegetarian ramen. We have another vegetable vegetable ramen with us here. So this one is by Sakurai Food. It's soy sauce ramen. Soy sauce? It says miso right here on the front. Excuse me, miso is different from soy sauce. You don't goofed. You don't goofed, man. Is miso soy sauce? I don't think so. We are incredibly excited to include three vegetarian style ramen this month. Completely free of animal and seafood ingredients. Woohoo, we can eat that for Green Mondays. Don't worry, this noodle dish is still amazing. Hope so. The soy broth has wonderful hints of toasted sesame on all of your favorite veggie toppings and enjoy. And then the next one is a salt flavored ramen right here. Sokusensha Shio Ramen. Our second ramen from Sokushensa. Oh, there's another one. So Sokusensa has two ramen. This is shoyu. This should be shoyu. This means shoyu. The one that says 
miso. You don't goofed, Japan great. Let's start with the, sh the soy sauce ramen since it's like the next one on this like pamphlet thing. We've included two different types of shokusensha ramen in this month's crate. The soy broth for this noodle is 100% free of animal products, pulling solely from non-GMO soybeans and vegetables to give a rich tasty flavor. So we have like, wow, is Japan crate trying to be like super healthy with these? Because I was actually expecting a lot of unhealthiness. Now we have the shokusen shokusensha shio ramen. Our second ramen from Sokushen. Shokusen, I can't say that. Our second ramen from Sokusensha has a traditional shio broth. I don't like shio as much as miso, but I can deal with it. This broth has also been created in a similar style to its soy sauce counterpart. However, scallop. Ooh, scallop has been used to help bring about a more salty seafood flavor. Try it with seared scallop, fried enoki mushrooms, and butter. Shio ramen works really good with butter. I've had shio ramen at restaurants with butter, and it was it was amazing. I actually really appreciate the fact that Umai Crate has the English instructions for things, as well as like recommendations on food items to add on to these noodles right here. Thank you for giving me new ways to appreciate instant noodles. So the last thing is another, another udon. Holy crap. This is by Higashimaru. It's a seafood dish udon. Holy crap, look at how big that is. Like, look at it is tiny and this is huge. Ew, it's, it's for two. I can have this with my dad. He also loves instant noodles. This huge noodle dish is perfect for two. Dish or plate style udon are super thin noodles and are meant to be eaten crispy. Crispy? No, these are fried noodles. We included a seafood based dish udon, so keep that in mind when selecting what toppings you would like to add. So we'll have to like find our own toppings for this. I've never had like an instant noodles pack like this where like it's meant for you to add like extra toppings like it's it's not meant to just be enjoyed alone. Oh my god. This is going to be fun. They have like the recipe for the dish right here in the booklet. Oh my god. I feel so spoiled right now. They also have like recommendations for this too, like the special Kumamon one. I realize that this whole thing is Kumamon themed. Here comes Kumamon. Oh yeah, yeah, he represents the Kumamoto Prefecture. He's since gone on to win the hearts of citizens all across Japan. See, he is like the most popular Yuru Kara in Japan. So I was I was close when I said that he was like a mascot of Japan. One of the reasons he was so wildly popular and won the Yuru Char poll in 2011 is because Kumamoto held a press conference to alert Japan that Kumamon had disappeared to Osaka. I think I remember that. Okay, wow, like, yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this box right here. Like for my first crate, I'm just super excited to try all these out and I'm also very appreciative of like how many instructions they cared to put in here. They obviously researched all of these and took the time to actually like translate things for uh, non-Japanese audiences and just bringing the love of Japan like overseas. This, this is awesome. I have like actual goosebumps right now because of how happy I am. And look at the detail, the fact that it opens like this way, like how a traditional Japanese book goes. It's like, oh god, I am just so appreciative of like how much effort they put into these. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing of my very first Umai crate. There's going to be uh, another one next month. So if you guys are interested in getting a Umai crate for yourself or checking out some of Japan crates other boxes, they have like snack crates and also like beauty products and a bunch of other Japanese good stuff. If you're interested in those, be sure to check them out. I'll have the links down below. Also do let me know what your experiences with instant noodles are. I know instant noodles mean a lot to me, but I don't exactly know how other people think about it. Is it really that weird to like have a hobby of tasting different instant noodle flavors? So that's probably the end of this video. I have to like 
put these things somewhere. Hope there's space for it in like cupboards and stuff. <sighs> I'll see you guys in the next video.